Welcome back. In this tutorial I want to talk about metadata information. And applying critical information to your images. And the nice thing about this is we can do this as we download the images um, from our cameras. Remember we talked about clicking here on the download button. So the first thing I want you to do is, um, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this over to a different workspace. I've created a workspace and titled it so that it kind of gives me some information or gives me a workspace that I prefer to work with. And this is our metadata window. This is the window that allows us to add all the information to our individual images. Okay, and if we go up here to our little drop down menu up here, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about. We can increase this font size if we need to, to make things bigger, or we can decrease it, depending on the strength of your eyes. And the other thing is we can talk about preferences. We can click on preferences here. And this is going to allow you, if we click on this metadata button, this allows us to uh, turn on and turn off. So if I uncheck this IPTC core, uncheck that box right there, you'll see that it goes away over here in our window. Now I happen to want that on, so I'm going to go back in and check it up, make it sure there's a check on it. And we could check all these if we wanted to. You just need to spin them open and kind of see, do I need that information on my images or not? I personally don't feel like I need to have GPS information in my image. Okay. I generally will have file properties, this legacy IPTC, and we could probably get rid of that. Let's just get rid of that and this IPTC core information. So just remember, it's over here in your preferences. So we'll click on OK. And now you'll see all the things that we can add to our images. We can add copyright, we can add uh, locations, we can add the creator. All that information gets applied to our image. So how do we do that? We just click on an image over here. We'll come over here and click on the little pencil. And we'll just say uh, Indianapolis. And we'll say on the country. And then we need to apply this. So how do we apply it? Well, if you forget and come over here and click on another image to add more information, there's this little dialog box that will pop up. And it's going to say, do you want to apply that information? So yes, we do want to apply that information and now we'll see that this image has that on it. Now the others do because we didn't apply it. Now suppose we want to apply that information to multiple images. We can just come over here and shift click through our images and we'll click here on the creator city. We'll say Indianapolis again. And this time, rather than coming over here because we forgot, we're just going to physically apply that information. So we're going to come down here to this check, box, check mark, and we'll just click it. And now that information has been applied to all those images. All right. The other thing that we can do is we can create up here in our little drop down menu, we can create metadata template. And once we click on that, it's going to give us this little dialog box and we need to check here the items that we want to have displayed. And I'll call this Eric. 2013. I'll type in some information. 
job title owner. My address, not applicable. In a. All right, so that's enough information to show you what we're doing. So you'll go through these, and you can tab through each one of these little windows. So if we just type in, hit tab, it'll take us through. And then we'll hit save. So now how do we apply that template is we just select our images. We'll just say Command A. We'll apply it to all of our images. And we'll come over here and click on this replace metadata and then we'll find the one that we wanted to apply is Eric 2013 you'll see that it's going to process down here and now we have all that information from our template that owner and Eric Lindley and not applicable and not applicable is applied to each one of our images okay and remember when we did our download, so we have saved this metadata template. And we can apply that metadata during our download. So if we go up here and click on the little camera, you'll see that we have this template and we'll just pull up to the one that we just created, this Eric 2013. Now as we download, rename, save copies to we are also applying this metadata template to our image download. And I think that's it. That is the simple approach to applying metadata information. I hope it uh, helps. I hope you learned something from it. And I appreciate all of your comments and suggestions. And I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial. Thank you.